I'm going to show you how to make nasi goreng. It's a really popular fried rice dish in Indonesia and Malaysia. It's got loads of flavour in it and it's perfect for breakfast as well. So I'm going to set the wok over a high heat and then start off with just preparing my base ingredients. So some garlic and then some ginger. I'm just going to finely slice that. And then a little bird's eye fiery red chilli. Now I've left the seeds in because I like a little bit of heat, particularly at breakfast time, but you can always remove them if you want to bring that down a bit. So that is my base ready. And then I've got some coriander. I'm going to save the leaves for garnish at the end, but I want to take off the stalks. So you can see the wok is just very lightly smoking, which means it's really, really nice and hot. And I'm going to go with some vegetable oil and then quick swirl around the pan and go straight in. Fry this really quickly over a high heat, just for a few seconds until they start to caramelise. And then I'm going to add in some tamarind paste and that's going to give this background slight acidity which will balance everything out really nicely. And fry that together and then straight in some sliced green beans. And then in with that chopped coriander stalk. It's all about keeping it moving and frying everything fast so it keeps its colour and vibrancy. And then next up, the rice. I've just got some microwave rice just to make this a really easy, quick dish. So that goes in. So I've just cooked the rice in the microwave. So all you're doing here is warming it through with the rest of the ingredients and just making sure it's all nicely coated. And then last up is some ketchup manis, which is a thick and sweetened soy sauce. So it gives that nice balance of sweetness, which goes against the sourness of the tamarind. And then you've got the seasoning from the soy salty oven. And it really is as quick as that. Now to serve up, top it off classically with a fried egg and then finish with some crispy fried onions, chopped coriander and a wedge of lime. Now for more great recipes like this, hit the subscribe button.